Hi and welcome, here is the next part of the C++ inventory tutorial for Unreal Engine 4 and in this one we are really going to add, finally, pick up items to a list to the inventory. So let's begin by opening up the C++ file for the player, the header file and in this one I will add a private section and I will add an array there, the class is T array. And this is basically a dynamic list of pickup items. So the type will be a pickup actor. This will be a pointer. And I will call this underscore inventory. Okay, that's the first declaration we need. So the player will have the inventory. Okay, then we need some methods and in this part of the tutorial I will add a method to add items to the inventory and I'll call this add to inventory. The parameter is again an a pickup actor and then I will add a method to print out the whole inventory and I will call this print inventory. The method to print out all the items in the inventory is a kind of debug functionality and for convenience reasons I will make this callable from a blueprint so that I can later on add an action to the blueprint and just print out all the items that we picked up. Okay, now this is callable from blueprints. Great, now let's implement these methods. Just right click and select create definition in the appropriate CPP file in the implementation and here we go. So let's add the simplest possible implementation. Let's just add the actor, the parameter here of this method to the inventory to the member variable we just defined. Very simple, we don't define a maximum here of items, we just add to the list. Here's the method, add, and we add the actor. Okay, great stuff, great stuff. Now let's implement the print inventory that's a bit more complicated, but yeah, not really. So again, we created the definition and what do we have to do to print out all the items as one string on the screen? Well, we have to concatenate all the items to one string and then we print them out. Okay, this is really just for debugging purposes. But it's a nice C++ training. So we're going to use a for loop to iterate over all the items in the inventory. So this is a for each implementation. And now we get every actor in this list and we append it, the name of this actor, to a string, to the string as inventory. Okay, this is the delimiter for each item and after we build the string we will print it out again with this method of the g-engine and this is the method add on screen debug message. Let's keep this visible on the screen for three seconds, that's enough. The color, well yeah, white is okay. And the text is the S inventory string, which just concatenated. Okay, these are the methods for the player. Now we are able to add items to the inventory and we are able to print these out on the screen. Now let's switch to the A pickup actor. 
And what do we have to do in the previous tutorial on interacting, when the player is interacting with an item, what did we do? We destroyed the item. That's of course not the logic we want to implement now, because we want to add just this item here to the list, to the inventory. So we can't destroy it, but at least we don't want to see it on the screen. So we have to set the visibility to false and therefore I will implement a new method which is called show and it has a parameter and I call the parameter visible and if this is true then the item will be visible in the scene and if it is false it's hidden. So let's implement this show method. Think for a moment how our pickup actor is built up. We have an item mesh and we have this box collider. Of course the item mesh or the visibility of the item mesh has to be set. There's a method set visibility, very easy. But we also don't want to collide anymore with this item mesh if the visibility is set to false. Okay, there's, there's a method of the mesh component which is called set collision enabled, but the parameter of this isn't a bool. It is an, I think, an e collision uh, enabled. It's an, it's an enum, an enumeration. So let's initialize this. It's it's very easy. It's a type, and the value depends on our visible parameter. So if this is true then we have to enable the collision and if it is false we will disable the collision. So let's see in the IntelliSense which values we have for this e-collision enabled and okay if visible is true we set it to query and physics and if it is false we set it to no collision. I know there are better implementations for example we could store the value of this item mesh for e-collision enabled in the constructor and then reset it here in the show method, but let's keep it simple for this tutorial. Then there is the box collider and for this one I will also set the collision enabled to the same value. Alright, now there is a last thing that I want to set and this is set actor tick enabled and this is a value which determines if the tick method is called every frame or not. And if this item isn't visible we don't have to enable the tick method and this will save a lot of performance. Okay that's it, now let's call this show method. But before we can do this we have to get the player because we want to add the item we are currently interacting with to the inventory of this FPS player. There's a simple method to retrieve it and you will find it in the uGame statistics. It's a static method and it is called get player character. Alright, but in order to get this particular class, our class, the AFPS CPP character, we have to cast the result of the get player character to this type. Now we have this variable, this player, and always be defensive and prove if this player is not a null pointer. This is the shortcut if player, you could also write if player not equals null. And then we will call the show method with the parameter false. This means we are hiding this pickup actor. And after that I will add it to the inventory of the player. That's the whole logic. Yeah, we are done with the programming part. And yeah, I think I will print out when a player is interacting here with a pickup and I will print this out to the screen in red color. Now come on, be honest, totally simple stuff, right? Let's compile 
and see if we have any errors. No errors. Great. Switch back to the editor and drag in some pickup actors to the scene. Silver coin. Some golden coins. And I have a good feeling. I think this will work. <laughs> But to print out the inventory to the screen, I have to add an action here in the inputs. And let's call this print inventory. And I will map it to a key and the key is yeah, the I key. Great, now we're almost done. Let's open the blueprint of the character. And right click. And search for the action Print Inventory. And if this is pressed, we can call the function Print Inventory. And this is possible because we defined it as Blueprint Callable. Here it is. Now let's compile and start the game. Okay, here we go. Now let's collect the coins. First this golden coin, then perhaps a silver coin. And I have two coins collected. Now press the I key to show the inventory. And in the upper left hand corner you can see we have a golden coin and we have a silver coin. Let's collect one more. Again, press the I key. And here's the inventory containing three items. Okay, my friends, that's it. In the next tutorial, I will improve the UI. We will add a widget to display the inventory and all the items. Guys, I hope you liked the video. And if you do, then let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon on JNM.